Hello, so today um, I'm going to answer your questions. And uh, today we have a question from Jerry Joe Jackaro who asked about the very short long voicings and to apply them to Misty. So, um, so here's how, I mean, there's a million ways of doing it and I'll just play around with it for a little bit. So you can see how you could take short long um, and apply it to Misty. So again, short long, if you remember is, and then I'll link to the video of the short long in the description of this one in case you missed it. So, and that's a slightly more um, complete description. But getting right to it, here is a short voicing of a, of a B flat six, which will then go to an E flat six. Again, a long voicing replaces the outer voices. Now the F will be in the right hand and the D will be in the left hand. And that again also can go up. And combining short and long would look like this. And vice versa. Okay, so those are Right there is there's so much variety that you can add. So let's take a look at Misty. Look at me. I'm as you see, all right there. So what was that? That was I went I went to the B minor, B flat minor seven. This really is just a short of. A flat, be the B flat minor seven uses the A flat scale. It's the two of A flat. So I'm just going to do short long and A flat for when I get to that part. So, uh, here's a cool way I could every time that I get to one, I can do the, the switch over, and it's just it's so pretty. Here's another good thing you can do with it. You can make it a minor. So here's a... The first degree of A flat, going short and long. If I take the C, and I make it a C flat or a B, which is the minor third of A flat. You know, or maybe it's the sound of your hello. You see that? So you can actually go. You know, you can you, you can do the major to the minor, and that gives you the A flat. And of course, the A flat minor is also a D flat seven. I kind of messed around there, but. So let's see, so now we have the first uh, eight, let's say. Look, look at me. Or short, um, you can instead of going up in whole steps, oops, you can go up in thirds. So when you go up in thirds like that, you create all kinds of possibilities. So here I went, I get misty the moment you're near. Then I went to the tritone. Right, which is A. Um, here's a here's a B flat seven. 
but I could also do an E7. Which leads perfectly back to E flat. Here's this very nice one. Right, here's the, uh, the sus4 to the 3 of the E7. Right? Here's the seventh, here's the ninth. And that leads you right back. So, uh, the music I hear, I get misty. The moment you're near. <laughs> There's another one. And then what did I say I was gonna do? I was gonna do this. Same trip on same trick on A flat. I mean, we could do this all day long. It's we're already up to seven minutes. The song isn't even that long, <laughs> but but you get the idea. You can pretty much on any chord. You have all seven scale degrees. They're long and short permutations, and again the tritone, uh, doing long and short ascending in whole steps, but ascending in thirds as well. So. Just those few moves give you endless possibilities. that really helps I hope that really helps and uh, stay tuned for the next one uh, where we'll discuss a lot more Barry goodness um, thank you and like and subscribe if you don't mind and uh, check out the description for a lot of other uh, Barry vids okay see you guys soon bye